Alrighty guys, hello, this is the um, second podcast I've done of this kind of series, I guess you can say. But yeah, let's get started. So, the Knicks and the Heat faced off last night, 7.30 at uh, Madison Square Garden. And very surprising uh, game, to be honest. Um, Jimmy Butler was out, which was a huge, huge thing for the Heat. They had to see who... And what they had to do in order to maybe keep this game a little closer, or maybe even to come up with the win, but the Heat lost one hundred five to one eleven in um just a normal time. So, um, Caleb Martin um took the starting into the starting lineup because Jimmy was out. He played really well. He had twenty two points. He went eight for fifteen at the field goal, and he went for he went two for two. Um, at the free throw line. Now on the Knicks side, he, I mean, on the Knicks side, Julius Randle came back in because he was out of, uh, game one. Um, he played good, but it wasn't to a point where I mean, the Knicks they kind of struggled because he had twelve rebounds. Julius Randle had twelve rebounds, eleven defensive rebounds, and one offensive rebound. Um. I guess, I mean, the Knicks kind of struggled, to be honest. They, I mean, the Heat didn't have Jimmy, and they still were fighting for it. They were shooting really good at the three-point. But, I mean, um, the Knicks still played really well. They came out with the win, obviously. But, um, I mean, yeah, Bam Adebayo had to play really well as well. He had six assists with 38 minutes. It's a long time. And also, Kayla Martin having eight rebounds. That's a huge thing. Jalen Brunson on the Knicks side was playing really well as well. He was thirty. He had thirty points. He went ten for nineteen at the free, uh, at the field goal, and he went four for four at the free throw. Now, as of right now, um, Jimmy Butler still questionable for the game on Saturday, which I hope he comes back in. But um, so Jimmy Butler was out, as we obviously all know. Very sad thing. But um, next game is Saturday at the. Miami Heat, where Miami Heat play. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But right now, he's showing us questionable. The game's Saturday, so hopefully that's enough time for him to um, recover and for, for him to play. They did decide because um, Jimmy Butler was playing fine. Everyone that was at the arena in Madison Square Garden said he looked fine, like running around, sh- taking shots, everything. But um, the team made a decision to keep him out to make sure because they didn't want him to get injured more because that would mean even worse for us. But, yeah, they decided to keep him out. So maybe Saturday he can come back and we can get the win with him. Um, The face that he did because um, we did lose 105 to 111 or 108, something like that. But um, the fans were waving at him saying, like, oh, yeah, what about now? And he just looked at them with the face of like, yeah, I'm going to come back and you guys will see. So, I mean, maybe he's planning something. I don't know. But we'll see. Because against the Bucks, he went, he had 59 points in game four, which they won. Um, That was at the Miami Heat Arena. He played amazing in the fourth quarter. Now, the Heat in the fourth quarter, they didn't play, they didn't play well. Because they went, they were shooting really well at the three point for the three quarters, and when they needed it the most in the fourth quarter, with around like twenty seconds, they weren't shooting well. They were missing a bunch of stuff. Now New York came out and they really played well. I don't know what the coach told them after between the three and four, the third and fourth quarter, but I mean they came out and they won, and the crowd was definitely happy because the whole game, Miami Heat did have the lead. Um, the highest lead that the Knicks had was six. And the highest lead we had was nine. Now, the entire game, it was kind of um, up and down. On game f- one with the Knicks, they didn't really play well. I guess they were g- trying to adjust, as I said in the first um, podcast. But now they were playing really well. Even without Jimmy Butler, they were sharing the ball so much, the Miami Heat, that everyone was shooting, everyone was getting points in, everyone was getting minutes. And Jimmy Butler was on the bench, and he was trying to contribute as much as possible talking to them saying guys let's finish this and let's show them that you guys might might not need me even though i am gonna play on saturday hopefully but um yeah just finish this and he kind of took it i guess when the fans kind of wave him in i guess maybe he took it personally we'll see how saturday turns out but yeah i mean 
the Heat, I mean, their run has been so surprising. Again, with the Bucks, them winning 4-1, taking it in, in five games was huge. I mean, the Heat have just been so, so surprising. Um, So, yeah, I mean, the next game is on Saturday at 3.30 in, at the Kaseya Center, Miami Heat Arena. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But other than that, everyone played really well. But other than that, the Heat have just been so, so good. They have really showed up to show the world who they really are. That they also. Another thing, the Knicks were also very happy, I guess, for a game to take game two. But I mean, they kind of struggled even without Jimmy and they have all of their players in Knicks, they struggled. I mean, the Heat had to go really deep into their bench in order to kind of like flow everything well, give everyone enough breaks. Bam had a bio, had enough breaks. But the Knicks were kind of, I think, me personally, I wouldn't be too happy because I would say, listen, we struggled against a team that doesn't have their ma- their main player. And when we had our main player... When we didn't have our main player, the Knicks, they lost. And Jimmy Butler was also in. But, yeah. Also, wow. um, how Saturday went. So, we'll see how that goes. But other than that, the Heat are just playing out of... I mean, they're playing amazing. And, yeah. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, The Knicks, the Knicks and Heat kick off, tip off at 3.30. So, yeah. See how that goes.